I see a lot of power with our latest storm moving into western Oregon and Washington. We just have to wait for the next 48 hours or so. As far as the winds go, though, up in elevation, that's where we're actually picking up on what appears to be maybe just a few raindrops as we hover just above freezing at 33 degrees, but the winds are howling up in elevation. You can see by our color contouring that the Hood River area right now just seeing sustained winds at about six miles per hour. The Dow's at about 13, but we've already seen some gusts well above that as we anticipate yet again another stretch of the windy conditions for the gorge and the higher elevated spots with high wind warnings in effect. Four places from the Dalles stretching all the way to Idaho. That's where we could see sustained winds out the southwest at about 40 to 50 miles per hour. Gusts could near 60 miles per hour, all getting underway Monday evening through Tuesday morning as we prepare for our next round of winter weather. Into the western sections of Washington, winter storm warnings in effect. That's where we could see snowfall of about 10 to 20 inches with wind gusts of about 60 miles per hour. Monday morning all the way through Wednesday morning, but for western Oregon, seeing the Cascades and the Coast Range falling under winter storm watches, which means we're preparing to see winter weather get underway Monday evening through Tuesday evening with 10 to 20 inches expected above about 2,500 feet. As our cloud coverage still remains widespread with a nice northwesterly wind aloft, that's where we're picking up on just a few stray raindrops anywhere from Vancouver down to Gresham all the way to Oregon City and Beaver Creek, but for the most part, seeing maybe just a hit and miss raindrop or two as a ridge of high pressure continues to build just off to the west. That's what's helped to keep us on the mild side today, and we'll do so again for Monday. But Tuesday, that's where we kind of shake up the snow globe a little bit with our weather pattern, dropping the jet stream as this upper level low ushers in much colder air in the western Oregon and Washington. That's where we're expecting to see our temperatures quickly take a tumble in Wednesday, Thursday. That's where that snow potential also starts to climb. And then we're talking about some record breaking cold conditions even once our skies start to clear. So for tonight, expecting to see maybe a hit and miss shower for the Portland metro area and the gorge, mostly on the dry side to the point south and west of the Portland metro area. But that does change by the time we get to Monday evening. The rain shower is becoming a little bit more widespread, specifically out along the shoreline, but the cloud cover just not going anywhere anytime soon. As those snow elevations, they start to dip ever so slightly into two Tuesday, and I still think by Tuesday afternoon we'll just be holding on to the rain chances for the I-5 quarter and for the coastline. And then once we get to Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday, that's where that snow potential really starts to ramp up. With additional rainfall accumulation over the next 48 hours, nearing just at about a quarter of an inch for the I-5 quarter, three quarters of an inch for the coast. But here's the breakdown. These are our long range weather models, both showing the potential for some snow flurries for the I-5 corridor, more likely for the GFS. But right now we'd really like to see these aligned to determine exactly if we will see snowfall. Tonight we fall to 43. Cloud coverage remains. It will be windy tomorrow with a high of 52. And tomorrow also President's Day. We got a lot of holidays lined up here. Mardi Gras on Tuesday. That's where our temperatures will start to cool. And for Ash Wednesday, a wintry mix is a possibility. But we're talking about near record breaking cold daytime highs of 36 on Thursday with a few lingering snow flurries and then 21 for our low by Friday morning. Wayne. All right, Josh, thank you. And coming up.